Hey guys, uh, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. Um, I got some big news. Hopefully the camera battery holds up for this. I can quickly go through it as fast as I can. I was working at a job. I did not bring up anything what... He didn't know anything what I was doing. Um, it was a customer that I was working for. And he said, well, I'm trying to sell this property. I can't because it's commercial and um, beside it he has a house that he's renting out to somebody so he's like well why don't you um, it was kind of a punked moment because he read in the newspaper that and is in the uh, I guess it's the psychic section or the star charts whatever it was kind of weird but anyway he said he'd get an unusual offer and then I read, as he showed me uh, the paper, and I read it, and then I looked at mine, and he said, sit on the sidelines, and you'll wait and see, and you'll get progress on what you want to do. So I've been doing that, basically. So I don't really, I ne was never into that stuff, but uh, <laughs> at this point in time, the dots connected, basically. So anyway, getting back to the, the place the guy is on the river. He ha owns a house there. He couldn't sell it, so he's renting it out to somebody. He has a property joined to it that's commercial that he doesn't do anything with but cut the grass. So I told him what I was paying rent here um, for the tiny house, and, um, and he offered me the same deal. Um, over there, and he can move, he's a, actually a truck driver, so he can move the trailer for me and do all that stuff. Um, I looked at the property, it's, it's, it's big enough for this little guy here, so, um, nothing too crazy. It's in town, and, um, what else? Now we got, I went there, and I, one of the trees has to go. Or the solar is not going to work. So I got to still talk to him about this before we even move the tiny house there. Like, we got to get a bunch of stuff done before this is official. But if it turns out to be good, since it's commercial property, I can park the tiny house there. And the, and the uh, city can't say shit. So that's a big a middle finger to the government. And I can c continue on trucking here with the tiny house uh, with solar and everything. Um, he also offered me free water um, for my rent so run a garden hose fill the tanks up you can probably see them behind me there there they are so he offered that for free because well, I kind of talked to him what I wanted to do the slanted roof capture rainwater he said well yeah but then it's kind of getting into the permanent uh, unmovable it's a permanent fixture on the property now so can't really go that way so he offered free rain or free uh, city water for me. Bonus, and I'd only fill up um, when I need to. Anyway, I just fill the tanks and then disconnect and whatever. But uh, pretty pretty exciting. Kind of strange how I got this uh, possible uh, deal, guys, because I've been looking for land for over two years, and this kind of just happened. Um, what else can I say? Um, the orientation of the trailer will be different, though. So I got to kind of work it out with him to how this works. And then for safety reasons, I'm going to block up the wheels so I don't go rolling down into the riverbank or some goddamn thing. Um, you never know. We're going to have to figure it out. I'll have to do a chit-chat with him. He thinks that what I'm doing is pretty awesome. Um... Uh, and he was all excited about it because it's extra money for him. It's cheap rent for me for living. Uh, the, it works out for the accountant. I just got to give him the new location. Um, it's win-win all the way around. And I'm still only going to be paying 25 bucks a month for seven years rent to this dude. Now, I also talked to him about the guy in the house has, I think he has wireless internet. 
So I'm going to cut a deal with the guy in the house. I'll pay half the internet if I can get wireless internet into the tiny house from like the distance. I think I'll, I'll be all able to grab the signal. If not, I'm sure High Tech i 18 Stu will help me with that with a booster or some whatever. Um, uh, what else? Da, 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 da. Just trying to go over everything, guys. Forgive me. Um, so pretty exciting. I can do my skirting. I can do the solar panels. The roof I can't do. Um, but that's the way it goes. I got water from the mains. And if um, the shit hits the fan at any point, the river bank is right behind the, the tiny house then. So I have fresh water there that is needs to be treated before drinking but you could bathe in it etc etc i would uh you know i got all my filters and um you guys seen all my prepping stuff so i kind of am ahead of that in in the sense most people don't have a bunch of water filters ready to go just in case and know what to do um boiling wise you filter boil and then you should be good to go. Um, so, what else? Da -da -da -da. Yeah. So, that's that's kind of exciting. Um, I, I can do a lot more there than I can where I'm at here. So, that's kind of why I want to move. And I'm still in town. So, it's like, what? So, pretty crazy. Um, other than that, guys, I, I'll give you updates if this deal goes through or not. I'm kind of holding my breath still. I want to talk everything over with him and, you know, get, get, uh, he's, he's always friendly and everything. I've, I've actually worked for him for, uh, um, quite a few, quite a few years, different things. Um, but, um, this was kind of like a crazy deal that just popped up. And it helps him out. It helps me out. And I'm, I'll am i be living cheap, guys. So, basically, 50 bucks a month. That's what I pay for the tiny house. Okay? And with my accountant deal, that cuts that in half to 25 a month. If I get internet with this guy, I'm guessing he's paying 60 bucks a month or something for unlimited. That's another 30 for me. Um, I suck at math, so you guys can whip the calculator out. And then, um, I'm going to need a phone option now. So I'm either thinking Magic Jack through the internet, or possibly get a cell phone, because I don't have a cell phone. Um, if you guys seen in a previous video, I did have a cell phone with me, but, but that's because I was on call. It's my dad's. I have to take calls when he can't. So, I don't even own a cell phone. But if I do get a cell phone, I'll probably get one of those smartphones. They're pretty cool. That's what my dad has. Um, pretty neat. Um, pretty neat stuff. So, I'm not sure what kind of plan I would get. I think they're like 50 bucks a month or something for unlimited everything. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can recommend something. But the big thing is, if I can cut the deal with the half half the internet deal with the tenant in the house, that means I can broadcast live from the tiny house when I'm in there full time, which is kind of awesome and kind of what I want. <laughs> so I could do Google Hangouts in here and then have a, I need to buy a better webcam, that's for sure. Stu can uh, attest to that and uh, everybody else that was in the hangout but um i was just using one from the 360 that uh, the usb so whatever but yeah so once that's done i can show you like what i'm doing that day do a hangout live in the tiny house show you what's going on um which is kind of really awesome i think that's going to be cool but uh yeah i'm gonna end it here guys so wish me luck and uh, we'll see what happens, okay? I'll give you updates as everything goes. All right. Talk to you later.